Hello, good morning and welcome. It's uh, the 4th of May, Thursday the 4th of May and uh, it's just after 7 o'clock and uh, well we started always with the Oud USD and this has fallen very nicely for us. Um, our first trade's up here about uh, 75.40 and it's come down to uh, just below 74, we're 73.99 something or other at the moment. So if it goes through, there's a bit of support here. If it goes through there, it's on its way down to our target, which is 72. Thank you. Euro JPY, a little bit of a let up today. I've actually got a bit of a red candle there. This, uh, the Euro can't continue going up. The, um, the commitment of traders is bearish um, and uh, you know yes we're, we're waiting for it. I think this is basically weakness in the Japanese yen rather than strength in, in the euro so let's just carry on euro USD we're about at entry uh, we've got resistance just north of our position so um, you know, uh, we, we're we below the 69.1 on the RSI, so at the very worst, we've got sideways motion because we've got one, two, three, four, five, about eight candles, uh, eight candles in sideways motion. So, unless it pops above there, we're going to continue on sideways motion, if not, come down and uh, fill the gap down here. Lovely. Uh, Euro New Zealand dollar. Very disappointed. This uh, had a bit of strength last night. Um, and, uh, you know, I got knocked out. I've had to re enter. But I've got a lot of quite heavy trades in this cluster at the top here. Uh, I'm looking for a short. We're still above the 69.1. Uh, I was hoping to come below it. And, uh, not a very positive outlook on the stochastic, but the commitment of traders report is very bearish for this pair. So I'm holding on. Uh, pound Australian dollar. Um, pound Australia dollar. Yes, I, I, it went it went down. I thought it was going to go further. I didn't get in, um, and I've I've missed the action. It started on its way up again, but. Uh, other things, other things. Uh, Australian dollar, uh, Swiss franc. I got in this yesterday. Um, I actually put a message because uh, it was a bit late when I got in. Uh, I put a message on the uh, on the vid that I did yesterday that I was going short this pair, and uh, this has fallen, unbelievable. Uh, yeah, I can't think. Shall I just have a quick look how many pips we got on there? Yeah, we we got about uh, about 110 pips so far. This is the most bearish pair uh, on the commitment of traders report. Uh, the Swiss franc is 10 to one uh, um, long, and the Australian dollar is is I think it was it four to one short. Yeah. Okay. Whoops, a daisy. S and P 500. Uh, we've got a bit of a green candle there today. We're still below the 69.1 on the daily. Uh, what about the weekly? Let's just, yeah, just. Um, this is sort of sideways m movement at the moment. And uh, we're looking for this to short. I still left the trend line in there. And I, I think this is going to come back below it. Um, I didn't do the report yesterday. I, I wanted to get a report out. I can't find all the information, but uh, a lot of the uh, major, uh, like the CACs and the DAC, uh, DAX, uh, they're all coming. They're all looking like they're at a breaking point for going short now. If they all go short together and there's a bit of a landslide, th this will um, give uh, strength to the uh, the yen and all the um, all the safe haven currencies so just just beware and don't uh, well i will not be um, be shorting any of the major currencies no. outcad uh this is shorted nicely for us uh, i've put my stop in um <clears throat> up here 
Um, we're actually in, in profit for the pair. So I'm waiting for this to break down below and uh, hit my target here um, at about so uh, 1.001 silver. Ah, oh, what a dog! This has been an absolute darling of a trade, and it just keeps on going down. Um, and we're now below the 30.9 uh, on the RSI. I'm going to hold this. I put my stop in. So both my positions here are, are stopped uh, uh, just above just above this candle uh, from yesterday or the day before, and um, there you go. I, I, but I think that's just going to continue on through. USD JPY, ah, bit of a disappointment. Weakness in the Japanese yen. Um, we'll see what the commitment of traders thinks on Friday, but. Uh, I, I just can't believe where this has gone. Uh, we're still below the 69.1 on the um, on the daily. Yeah, and um, we're at the top on the stochastic. But I'm expecting this to break short. Uh, I, I was surprised at yesterday's candle. Uh, USD Mexican peso. Uh, I'm back into profit at my on my big trade at the bottom here. So. Uh, you know, I really think this is going to continue up. Um, I just cannot see the Mexican peso um, having more strength than the US dollar. Uh, they're redoing a deal, uh, the, the treaty between um, Mexico and America for, for goods. Uh, I just cannot see a redone deal with Donald Trump being beneficial to uh, the uh, Mexicans. I really can't. So. Uh, I think there's a bit of a sticky wicket coming there. USD CAD, that's uh, that's gone up lovely. That's been a really nice trade to the upside. Uh, it, we're, we're above the 69.1. <clears throat> I think it's going to continue. Uh, oil, same again. We're just, we're just dancing on the 30.9. Um, it should actually fall below that. And uh, as long as it stops below 30.9, it is going down. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you all for watching and uh, really appreciate the likes and the subscriptions. And uh, see you all tomorrow. Thank you. Bye now.